Hi, Michael from Invarian here, and welcome to the video outlining what's new in Rapid Plan Online as of January 2024. We've made a number of recent improvements to Rapid Plan Online, including, among other things, the introduction of text formatting, the saving of custom object styles, and read only profiles for non subscribers. Let's start with the largest improvement the ability to format text on your plan. This is a notable improvement in the ability to create custom title blocks or note sections on your plan. To format a section of text, head to the Primitive Tools category and select the Rich Text tool, like so. Upon selecting that tool, we see the Rich Text window appear where we can enter and format our text. Let's try adding a table with a few plan notes, then format some of the text. In this case, we'll just bold in the words client, location, and date to make them easier to see while leaving the details in plain text. However, please note that you have many formatting options along the top of the window. Here, you can expand the additional text options, change the alignment of your text, create a numbered list, or click here for more paragraph options. In addition to tables, you can also include images and special characters if needed. Once we've finished formatting our text, we'll click Save and place it on the plan by left-clicking where we'd like it to be placed. Note that you can then select the box and use the control points in the upper left and bottom right corners to adjust its size and control how your text is fit. If you need to edit your text, simply click on the rich text box and choose Edit Text from the context menu. Unrelated to rich text formatting, but on the topic of customized note sections, please note that we've also introduced the option to customize the dimensions of your legend and manifest boxes, giving you the ability to create multi-column layouts that run along your plan's margins better and avoid covering up any areas on your plan. To adjust these dimensions, place a legend or manifest on your plan, then change the mode property from auto to custom and you'll see a red control point appear in the corner that you can click and drag. Let's now take a look at the other new features introduced since our last update. There are a couple of new features improving how tools work, snapping and saved object styles. Snapping helps make the plan design process easier by aligning your selected tool or object with the geometry of other tools or objects on your plan. This can be helpful in several ways, but most notably, editing signs and drawing delineators around work zones. When customizing a sign wherein you need to recenter the text on the sign background, this could only be done manually before snapping was introduced. Now, with snapping enabled, if you ungroup a sign and edit its text, you can click and drag the text over the center of the sign, and it will snap to the center of the sign so you can then group it back together. Now, let's place a work area on the plan and see how snapping helps with drawing our delineators. When I start drawing the delineators up against the work area, they will snap to the outer edges of the work area, so you no longer have to look closely and make sure it's lined up properly. You can enable or disable snapping with this icon above the properties palette. Click that icon and you'll see an option to enable or disable snapping as a whole, or you can choose which types of snapping you would like enabled, if not all three. Point snapping snaps to control points on other tools. Geometry snapping snaps to the shape of other tools or objects. And bounds snapping will snap your object against the bounds of another tool or object. The bounds are indicated by the selection box appearing around an object when selected. The other new tool feature is saved object styles. In Rapid Plan Online, we've always had a properties palette where you can change the aspects of a tool or an object on your plan. For users who want a tool or object to look differently than it appears by default, this has generally meant adjusting that object's properties each time you use it. 
we've introduced the ability to save object styles in Rapid Plan Online, which allows users to save different property configurations for tools and objects they use regularly, including updating the default style of a tool or object. Let's see how this works by saving a style of our delineator tool for cones spaced 15 feet apart. First, we'll use our delineator tool on the plan to lay out a taper. The default device type for the delineator tool is barrels or drums. In this case, I would like to save a style for cones with 15 foot spacing between devices and a larger default size on the devices. So we'll change these properties now. Once we've changed the properties as we want them to be saved, we'll click on our delineators, choose styles from the context menu, then choose save style. We'll be prompted to label it, then we can click save. Now let's place another taper elsewhere on the plan. Again, it starts out with the rapid plan default style of barrels. So let's click on it and choose styles, this time selecting apply and then choosing our new style cones. We can also make this the default style by clicking on it, choosing edit styles, and then clicking on the three dots next to our new style and choosing set as default. If there's any tool whose properties you find yourself adjusting in a certain way every time, we'd recommend setting this as the default style for that tool to save you that time moving forward. Apart from changing your delineator's default style if you use another device more often than barrels, Note that you can also change your distance marker styles to measure in whole numbers rather than measuring down to the tenth of the unit. If you would prefer this, change the significant digits property on your distance markers down to zero before saving those as the new default styles. Another feature new to Rapid Plan Online can be found in the right click menu. Previously, this menu only included the option to paste copied text, images, or objects, but it now includes the option to enter Google Street View at the location on the map where you're right-clicking. This can be useful in a number of ways. If you're not sure of the posted speed limit on a certain road, you can try looking in Google Street View for a speed limit sign to inform your taper lengths and sign spacing. If aerial imagery is obstructed by something like a bridge or a tree coverage, you can use Street View to get another look at the area for information that you may need to consider when designing the plan, such as existing lane markings or where signs may need to be placed. Some users even use it to take first-person view screenshots of a work site and mark it up using Rapid Plans tools to give plan reviewers an idea of where the work area will be located and how the work zone might be set up. In some parts of the world, regional requirements for traffic control plans may dictate displaying the codes of the signs you use on your plans. The manifest tool has always included sign codes next to the sign descriptions by default, but you can now include the sign codes directly underneath your signs with this toggle button in the upper right corner of your sign library. First, we'll place a couple of signs on the plan. Then we'll toggle the sign codes underneath them like so. Note that the default setting for signs in Rapid Plan is a transparent background on the sign code. If you design your plans over map imagery, you may find it easier to change the sign code's background to white, then save that as the default style for your signs using the process we reviewed earlier in this video. You can change the color of your sign code's background under the designation style section in your properties. Note that you can also choose the side of the sign on which the code displays in this section as well. Another recent improvement to Rapid Plan Online is the ability to adjust the location of a plan even when the plan is already complete. We understand that some road work happens in sections along a road, completing the road work and picking up all works on devices, then moving them down the road for the next section of work. The ability to adjust your plan's location can help save time when planning for projects like these, exporting your current plan to PDF, then relocating it to the next section of road work, updating the notes if needed, and exporting another PDF. To adjust the location of a plan, click the menu button in the upper left corner of the window, like so, then choose Adjust Plan Location. 
once you do so, you'll see the same location search field appear in case you want to relocate your plan to a completely different area, as well as the adjust scale dialog box at the bottom of the screen in case you need to adjust your scale. If you're just moving your work zone down the road, you can simply pan down the road by holding your spacebar and moving your cursor. To stop adjusting your plan location, click the menu icon again and choose Stop Adjusting Location. Alternatively, you can stop adjusting your location by placing another object on the plan. In terms of sharing your plans, the options available in Rapid Plan Online have always included the option to add collaborating Rapid Plan Online users who may edit your plans or create a read only share link that you can send to people without current Rapid Plan Online subscriptions. We've recently introduced read-only profiles as well. Read-only profiles allow people without Rapid Plan Online subscriptions to create and vary in profiles on our website. Then you can add that user under the Add Collaborating User option in the Share menu. That person could then sign into the Invarian Cloud under their profile, and they'll see a list of all the plans shared with them, which they can open, then pan or zoom to view details of that plan. This is particularly helpful if you have several plans for a certain project, as you can add the viewer to all plans, then they'll see them all in their Invarian Cloud, rather than having to navigate between multiple read-only URLs that have been shared with them. A read-only profile is simply a profile created on our website without an active Rapid Plan Online subscription assigned to it. To create a read-only profile, just head to invarian.com and click Account in the top right corner, then click Sign Up Now to create a profile. As a refresher on how you can reach the sharing options, click the three dots next to your plan's title on the Invarian Cloud homepage, then choose Share from the list of options. This concludes the video for what's new in Rapid Plan Online as of January 2024. Thanks for watching, and please be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest here at Invarian.